Hey, I'm the Cathlon Gamer. Welcome back to Pro Cycling Manager 2020. This is All Rounder. It's episode 62. I'm joined by Luke Rowe here at the front. This could be the save that I've been needing. I've been riding solo since kilometer zero. It is stage three. We are at the Tour of Luxembourg. We started this one in that last episode. I currently lead the King of the Mountains classification. I was third in the points, but with both sprint points right at the beginning of the stage and myself going solo for a bit, I now have the lead in that classification. We barely, barely have a lead over the Pelotano. Uh, for some reason, they don't seem too interested in letting me get away in 14th place, 12 seconds down. Uh, I was hoping with Luke Rowe being here that there was a chance that Several we would survive. I have away. very little energy left, so I really cannot push right now. Category 4 climb coming up. Can't push right now unless we get right to the top, the final few hundred the meters. Back in the peloton. Overhauled. There you go. Uh, I was never allowed to get very far away. I was going high track. 80s and still uh, only managed to pull out about 50 seconds. So with that... I got the points jersey, but it looks like I'm about to lose the KOM because five riders have gone three minutes away just like that. So the gap that I was not allowed to, to get, that group was immediately allowed to uh, get that type of gap. All right, now as we go forward, it looks like we're going to be cruising towards the end of this stage. As we go forward, quick programming note on the series. Don't worry, the series is not being canceled or anything, uh, but I will be cutting back from three episodes a week to two episodes a week, and that is effective immediately. So instead of new episodes every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, I will now be canceling Thursdays to go Tuesday and Saturday. Reason being... I have a new PCM 20 series coming out. Look for that release on, yes, you guessed it, Thursday. It's going to go Thursdays and Sundays after it settles down after a week or two of some new episodes. But that means in all, we're actually going to have one more episode per week of PCM 20 content going from the current uh, seven up to eight episodes a week so four of the regular career mode episode uh episodes two pro cyclist episodes and two of this new series which i will save the details of for thursday but that will make three pcm 20 series on the channel so look out for the release of that on thursday at the normal time that we would be seeing this series but don't worry like i said we will still have the regular content here uh, just one day less per week all right that is sprint points should I be going for sprint points I like to get the, uh, the points here I've already lost the KOM lead and it's still two and a half minutes to those five riders I and mean, that's that's a hefty gap Blink and red at 79, but we're okay. It's really short climbs. Still 240. We're not pulling back any time. Uh, Mobax at the front. And gauging his effort level, you could see the second the climb here did a lot of damage. Virgil. So I think we're about to start pulling back time on. pretty quick on this those guys. And the next two climbs are, are cat long. threes. More points involved. So maybe, just maybe, I can get back out there. Today. Already down to a peloton of just 61. There's been a lot of damage out there in the field as we've cruised through this stage. The undulation uh, taking its toll on a lot of riders, but it's still 213. So those last two riders at the front have only lost 15 seconds. There's an attack in the leading group. This would be so the time where I would love to attack, but we are not close enough yet for that. Max points are already taken. Three riders left at the front. I was hoping it was down to two, so there would at least be a little bit left, but no, it's three. And it's still a two-minute gap. They could hang on and win this stage. Uh, and we saw another decrease in the size of the peloton. Just 48 riders left now. I think I need to be riding for the points at this, uh, 
uh, this time. As in, best result I can get at the end of the stage because I'm fully fresh while uh, a lot of riders around me are Your not. Are uh, things did come back stage. together a little bit Your there. That's unfortunate. We're down to a minute 18, but it's still a little to too far out. We're seeing a puncher going for it here gaps. in Brawl. That's, that's not launched. for sprint points. That is oh, an attack for the stage. Now it's just 21 riders. I like this. I like where we're headed with this. Uh, those four guys did pick up 40 seconds, though. One of the top three were dropped. Luke Rowe, the last one here, he's protecting me. That's nice. Okay, 9.7k to go. Very small chase group. And again, I'm looking pretty good for a high result here. Plus two on that race day condition is going to give me a little bit victory. more. 7k to go. We're catching a couple of these guys the off the front. Not it looks it like looks one like of them might the be race. able to stay away. Alright, I need to start scooting tumble, forward. Uh, they all to set off again. Let's be smart about this. Okay, he's done. 2.4k to go, and I'm in a prime spot. It's not much of a hill here. So we just want to stay at near the front. 1.5k to go now. And we're really coming up on two of these guys, but it looks like Grawl is the one who's going to hang on. Yes, he's going to win the stage. Uh, very select group here, though. Grawl he takes a win. Rigui is second. Maros Kung. I take 6th on the stage, that's definitely worth some points, and we are seeing some separations on this punchy stage. Hopefully, hopefully, uh, we actually see it all the way down as a group of 7 there, and uh, those 5 behind us, hopefully they lose a few seconds. Well, not quite as planned, Reguigui ends up same time as my group, which actually helped keep us a little closer to Grawl when he should have been ahead of us. Morose should have been the head of our group. But then that next group also, uh, Martinelli on back, they end up with same time as us. But then after that, uh, we end up with just 14 and then everybody else losing time. So a uh, couple of the groups were, were meshed together as one, but overall, that's some solid time gains. We move up into fifth place. I actually picked up six seconds by getting those two points sections right at the beginning, those intermediate sprints. So that that time boost moves me from what would have been 10th at this point up into 5th. Stage 4, and you'd be forgiven for comparing me to Primo Zoroglic. <laughs> no, 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 I don't mean it in quality. I mean it in terms of having a jersey that is vaguely similar to the one you regularly wear that if you didn't look close you might not notice. And what I mean by that of course is that Primoz Roglic with the yellow and black Jumbo Visma kit and then wearing the yellow jersey at the Tour de France for all those stages it was really hard to uh, notice the difference. Well I do have a special jersey it's very similar to our core jersey. The color the is only is slightly off, uh, and just like Primoz Roglic, I'm just missing the uh, the black strip across the jersey. But I do have the points jersey on today. Now, in this stage, stage four here, I am now leader outsider for the team. So they are hoping that I can hang on to a pretty decent finish top 10 overall. I'm sitting fifth right now, so looking pretty good. I've got two categorized climbs ahead of me and then a finishing climb, which isn't too severe, but it is also categorized as well. I've got complete team support at this point. One worrying factor though is we have a breakaway with a massive lead. It was almost nine minutes. It's down to 550. I'm not sure we're going to pull that back. Six riders that far out. I did look uh, at the profile, and Alan Batashek is the closest on time at five and a half minutes down. So we don't have to worry about them affecting the GC, and almost in a good way, 
they're going to take away those time bonuses if they hang on to win the stage. But the gap is coming down pretty quickly right now at four and a half minutes. And that actually is a good thing for me in terms of the GC because, well, it's not that climby between here and the finish. And I've got a plus three race day condition. Of course, I am on a fitness peak right now, so my standard, my base is a plus two. So yesterday, I was right at the base. The Today, to cut the lead. rolled a plus one, so I haven't been particularly lucky or anything. Uh, but here we are with now just the one more categorized climb before we set up the finishing climb. And we're starting to see the peloton decrease in size. You can see my entire team is facing some fatigue, and I'm at about 98%. Speed it up. This is going to be recovery for a lot of guys, like myself, back up to 100%. And here we go, into the base of the climb. Let's also prepare for this to be faster than the a previous one. Gap down to three minutes vehicle. on His that lead group. Chances of catching them. There is a chance, but the there's also a decent chance that they stay Virgil. away. There are a of but who you can definitely see on. us really closing that gap down on this climb, as expected. 20k to go. Just put a hurt on. We only dropped a five riders though, and we only pulled back the 20 seconds to the front four. The Just the two front dropped front riders really lose the time now. This to only 15 kilometers left. Alright, we are prepared to come up on a descent now. What I want uh, is I want everybody coming up and getting prepared to make a push. Oh, Rose's already on my wheel. I have a team. Let's make use of them. So we'll get everybody coming to the front. And now we're going to sort out an order here in just a moment and start attacking on this descent and get right to the front. Are up at the front. Okay, still got a little ways to go to get everybody up there. A fall just took place in the pack. These guys Several get a little closer. Can't wait too long. To the finish line. The group is slowly thinning out due to such a frantic pace. Come on a little slow here. Might leave them out. All right, Bozeman, Vermelt Fort, Sinkle Dam are ready. Ugh, Luke Rowe went to get water. Seriously, 12k left in the stage. You're going to go get water now. The only rider that I didn't give an assignment to because he was already on protection. This game, the AI logic. <laughs> All right, so Sinkle Dam, not punchy, can sprint. Better at downhill, meaning we want him out front now. Uh, for Meltfort, same thing, better on the downhill. Uh, Bozeman is a little more punchy, so we'll put him behind those guys. Doets, too far back. Mobak, too far back. So I'm going to slip in to here for now. And we start with for Meltfort. Get out front, start attacking. 74 in the peloton, still chasing that group. In fact, the gap has gone further out, so we've given up on the stage. It was down to 210. Now it's back out to 310. Here comes Doets and Mobek. So what do they bring to the table? Punchier. Both of them punchier, but on horrible, horrible race day conditions. Uh, they need to get to the front. And we need to speed up with Vermeltfort. Let's get those guys into the line. There we go. 7k for us. That's the front group. Alright, 99. Now that everybody's here, other than Luke Rowe, who we will obviously miss the most. So it's isn't going to last long, but that's okay. All right, now we are under 6K. Okay, Mobak, this is keeping us out front. And 
we're now onto the base of the climb. Gotta watch the damage meter, but Again, so far I'm far enough locked. back that it's the not hurting. Single dam. Bozeman. Their turn. We're gonna drop this to about a 94 now. Oh, back, don't block us off. Come on, buddy. Make sure I'm still in the wheel. I am. 2.8k. No damage being done to me and single dam. Ay, ay, ay. This game. I'm rolling you up and you're... Oh, Bozeman. Bozeman's about to get dropped. Acceleration biotics is good job. I caught that one. Alright, catching his wheel did just a little damage. Now he's done 1.7k. My turn to take over. Gel has already kicked in. Uh, Brocken wins from the break. 1.2k now. We're going to use the sneak so nobody blocks me off. And sprint it out to the finish. Whoa, 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 that was a little fast there, Maurice. That uh, makes sense that he would be fast. <laughs> he takes fifth on the stage, I guess seventh on the stage. That was a good result, but top four riders goes to the break. Was there a split? Was that enough for a split? Maybe. We're waiting Maybe for the tailenders who continue to arrive. Either way, I'm very much still in contention the downside I would have had third I would have had third I would have had a four second time bonus I do pick up good points on the stage I think I'll hang on to that points jersey into tomorrow into the final stage let's see how we're looking 217 down overall so no threat on the GC and uh, no gaps given until 52nd. Yikes. All right, so fifth place overall. No change there. Campanotes, Dennis, and Grawl at the top. Kung just a few seconds behind. There's Maurice in contention. He would have gained 10 seconds. He would have been equal on time. I would have gained four seconds. I would have been at plus two. So I would have gained and lost a spot. But I'd be within two seconds of the overall lead. I think I'd probably rather be within two seconds of the overall lead than six seconds in the same position, right? Points, plus I would have had more points. Uh, Maurice would have scored a bit more, though. He would be a bit closer to me, but I'd be a little further ahead of these guys. So a little bit of a win-lose. As we head into the final 40 kilometers of the last stage, Breakaway has a minute 45. There's five riders in that group. It's definitely going to come down to a sprint today. It's a little bit punchy right at the finish, slight uphill. So you've got to save it for a little bit later. But otherwise, it's a simple run in on the finish. I've got fifth place comfortably right now. But of course, there's going to be time bonuses for whoever are the top three today. So we've got to A, try to defend against that. And, you know, it would be great if I can get into the top three. But we'll see about that. Uh, the more likely outcome is about trying to hang on to the points jersey. I'm assuming that the sprinters who are going to take the stage probably do not have the best uh, position in the GC. They're probably not punchy enough. Most of the sprinters are going to be down on time a little bit. So this could be good for me because if I get enough points, I'll hang on to the points jersey. If the pure sprinters take it and they're down on time then I should still be fifth place overall so uh, this could be a nice little result as we go through our last punchy climb the here is that what the finish is like Are, is that the finish oh that is oh that is punchier than it looks that is much punchier than the finish looks that was the finish right there okay okay well it's very short uh, we're only going to want about line. one lead out rider by the time we hit the base. The so we want everybody else putting their work in. The well, now. Overall. And it's it's already down to 7k. Uh, Luke Rowe's close, but not under my control. Dotes has nothing left for Meltfort. And Single Dan. Alright. Quick, guys. Quick, quick, quick. Can you get up there?
6k to go. Save the gel for about 5k because of the hill. Five kilometers to the finish line. All right, have they made it up here yet? That's still row. Okay, there they are. Uh, for Belt Fort, you're gonna go first, and you need to go like 99 right now because we gotta get out in front of this. Come on, Vermeld Fort. Find a way through, buddy. Find a way through. Find a way through. Single Dam, you too. There you go. There you go. 2K to go. Uh, and we're already on to it. We're on to it. 1K to go. Uh, I need to go. And where is my... I was hoping for points here. This is so not happening. Caught in the crowd. I, I waited too late to get uh, really for Mel Fort and Sickle Dam to come up. Reguigui takes the win, Stubbs. Kroish, Kroish second, uh, third, that is. Uh, Barbier, uh, mostly sprinters. Reguigui could be moving himself up the in. order. I don't know where he was. I think he was behind us in the GC, which means the 10 second time bonus. Maybe enough that could have bumped me out of the top five down to sixth. Also, points not threatened, not threatened. The top guys, uh, Campon Arts, uh, way too far down, Maurice, too far down. Uh, none of them gaining any time. I didn't even finish in the top 10, did I? Yikes. That was my bad. It was I, I didn't realize we were just 7k away. I was trying to suss out what was going on with the finish. And just in case you missed them, here are the race highlights. Yeah, I didn't realize it was going to be that punchy. That surprised me. Caught me off guard. Ah, still fifth, still fifth. Uh, Reguigui had lost some time previously, so with 10 seconds, just moved up one spot, actually, is all. So, phew, lucked out there. Also, held on for the points jersey, so I get a jersey and a top five finish. So that's 50 points for that race. Second in the Young Rider as well. That uh, made the team happy. All right, so now we are in contract signing period, and this is all I really have left to do for this episode. I know we're a little short right now, but starting another race is not ideal. Uh, at this point, it's all about whether I can grab a contract or not with NTT, who we're hoping for, because I've now passed up three teams, UAE, Team Emirates, the latest, the Crow Race is about to start, so uh, we'll save that one for the next episode. In the meantime, though, I sit third in the Continental Rankings behind Cockard and Caruso. Uh, Guillaume Say, my teammate, is now jumped up into fourth. The only four riders over 1,000 points, and I'm very, very close, just nine points out of second. In the Super Prestige, pretty well, 26th, again, right at 1,000 points so having a heck of a season considering where the season started uh, I've really come on here in the late season now that I've made this jump to E75 overall really just on flat rating every time somebody decides they want to make the race hard I'm just cruising right along with full energy where everybody else is really really suffering so I finally have an attribute that is exceptional and making a difference. And then all it takes for me is a little bit in the other attributes, that slight positive race day condition where I get a, a small bonus in other areas. And then all of a sudden I'm hammering out top tens left and right. So getting just subtle points here and there. We've only grabbed three wins this season less than the six we had a year ago and yet we're having a better season so it's it's nice to see that i'm getting competitive 
of course, we are running out of uh, level ups. We've got, what, 28, 31, 34, 36, four, four to go. That's it, four to go. Yikes. Uh, we are going to be able to do a whole lot more with just four to go, especially with the next one. Uh, we're going to be forced on the classics trajectory, so it is what it is. But that does it for this episode. I'm Decathlon Gamer. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to hit that like button. I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there. And bye for now.